Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a cook with me and we will be making a blueberry bundt cake that has a hint of lemon in it. This recipe was given out at a WW meeting and it looks so good I had to rush right home and give it a try. So I will show you the ingredients and show you how to make it. We will need one sugar-free yellow cake mix, two boxes of sugar-free vanilla instant pudding, one cup of blueberries tossed in one tablespoon of flour, a bundt pan sprayed generous, general, liberally with cooking spray, one small unsweetened applesauce, one and a quarter cups of water, and one lemon and we will be using the zest and the juice. And you will also need either a stand mixer or a hand mixer of some sort. So let's get started on this cake. Okay, so in our mixing bowl, we have the cake mix and then two packages of the pudding mix. And I did forget to mention when I showed you the ingredients that we also need four eggs. We have our van um, applesauce, Our water, one and a quarter cups, four eggs, and then we're going to do the zest of a lemon. And we're going to do two tablespoons of the juice. The tools that I use in my kitchen are always linked down below. And now we need about two tablespoons of juice. Sorry about the dogs barking. Now what we're going to do is put the mixer on low for 30 seconds and let it mix. Then turn it up to medium and let it go for two minutes. So here we go. Okay, so that is all mixed up and now we're gonna take our one cup of blueberries that I tossed in one tablespoon of flour and we are going to fold those in to the cake. Um, in case you don't know why you toss them in flour, it helps them to not sink to the bottom of the cake. Okay, if you want my humble opinion, I think this could use a lot more blueberries. Blueberries are zero, wouldn't add to it. I think it could use some more. You know what? I think I'm gonna add another half a cup of blueberries. Hold please. Okay, I added another half a cup of blueberries to this. And we'll see what that does. You know guys, I've said before, it's real life around here. I've never made this recipe before. I do not practice recipes before I make them. And you know, sometimes you just improvise on the spot. I apologize if you don't like that, but that's how I roll. Okay, now we're just going to put this into the bundt pan. This is my Pampered Chef bundt pan. I love Pampered Chef stoneware. I don't love this one a whole lot. And I had a really nice metal bundt pan and I loaned it to someone and I never got it back. So, yeah, still trying to figure out who has it. Nobody's fessing up. Probably the same person that has my X and O cookie cutters that are missing. So now what I do when I lend something to someone is I take a picture of it with a piece of paper that says their name on it, and then I know who borrowed it, or I make them hold it 
and take a picture of them with it. Then that way I remember who borrows my stuff. Okay, so there is our cake. And this is going to go in a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. When it comes out, we will slice it into 15 pieces and 15 pieces will make it three points per slice. I think that is pretty darn good for real cake. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the finished product. We cut it into 15 equal pieces. Um, one piece is missing because we did take it out and taste it before I am taking it to a picnic with me today. So I'll just kind of move those around and make it look pretty. Um, I will give you my final thoughts on it. Okay, so it was good. You know, we tried a piece, three of us tried it, um, but it was dense, it was heavy. I think it was like that because of the two packages of pudding mix. I think I'm gonna, I definitely will make it again because it was very tasty, tart, and just really good. But I think the two packages of pudding mix made it dense and heavy. It almost looked like it was uncooked, but it wasn't. It was definitely cooked. It just had that heaviness look about it. And the cake rose to over the top of the bun pan, but as it was cooling, it sunk. And it almost looked like it folded a little bit onto itself. And I really think it was the two packages of pudding mix. So I will make it again, and I will make it with one package and see what happens, because it definitely was tasty. And for three points, a piece of real cake for three points is fantastic in my book. Um, cut into 15 servings, it is three points. So you can't beat that. So I will definitely try it again just with a couple modifications, but I definitely wanna thank um, our substitute leader, Kathleen, at the WW meeting for sharing this recipe with us. It will definitely be one that I mess with a little bit and definitely make again. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've ever made something like this and how your recipe varied from mine, if you are going to make it or whatever. And don't forget, give a thumbs up to this video, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and that notification bell so you know when I upload. That's it for me and I will see you soon.